Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today I'm going to do your love reading a little bit differently. We will start with love messages for the single ones and after that those in a complicated relationship. Alright Aquarius, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Alright Aquarius, spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for single Aquarius. Show me more. Looks like there'll be new love here, Ace of Cups. For those of you, if you're searching for your a new love, a true love, a new partner, it looks like it's in the horizon. You may not be seeing it right now with the sun here in reverse and the moon but be saying that you will be meeting somebody here this person may be a virgo capricorn taurus or a leo strong leo can be also any pisces cancer scorpio energy can be any sign but what i'm seeing here with the hangman here in reverse spirit's trying to tell you that um actually you don't have to carry this burden with the ten of wands here in reverse it could be a burden from your past or somebody from your past but with the page of pentacles in reverse and the six of cups in reverse this says to not return to somebody from your past okay and with the seven of wands here perhaps this may indicate you needing uh, spirit's trying to say that maybe you need to stand your ground you may have to uh you may uh, you may have to have like a set of boundaries, okay, so that nobody walks all over you. But Chris, most of the Chris that I know have a very strong personality, but I feel like with the Three of Cups here in reverse, yeah, Spirit's definitely saying do not return to somebody from your past. Reconciling with somebody from your past will be a very bad idea, okay? However, we've got the moon here. Somebody may have still have feelings for you, okay? deep down could be someone from your past or maybe you still have feelings for somebody from your past again it can be reversed here and the sun is in reverse somebody is not happy that they still have feelings for you or it could be you still feeling really unhappy because deep down you may still have feelings for this person again it can be reversed but we've got the two of cups here for some of you there could be an offer of reconciliation from a past person okay two of cups here eight of cups in reverse can indicate somebody returning but the strength card is here so this could indicate also somebody is holding back perhaps ego related <laughs> but strength card also can indicate you needing to be strong be saying to be strong okay deal with your situation very tactfully maybe be patient as well if for those of you who are looking for somebody new there is somebody new out there you just got to be patient and with the two of cups here there is a soulmate coming in for you guys this person may actually i feel like this person could be a friend first okay a friend that you may have overlooked in the past and i feel like this you might end up being in a relationship with this person okay for some of you if that's not the case i feel like if there's somebody completely new again i feel like um both of you may be meeting each other from some sort of communication with the knight of swords here and it looks like it's going to happen pretty quickly as well because the knight of swords is a very fast energy and also i got a will of fortune here in reverse for some of you somebody from the past might return okay this person may have lied or may have cheated on you or may have kept secrets from you and five pentacles seven reverse you're not going to feel left out in the cold anymore again if you're single you're not going to be single for too long but ace of cups also can indicate self-love and self-care spirit's definitely saying to practice that first and then be patient and then looks like there could be a union between you uh for you okay you and somebody else here okay Chris, we are going to go next, okay, go next uh, to the reading, the reading for those Aquarians in a complicated relationship. I'm still getting used to this new reading, I hope, hope you guys like it, I don't know, we'll see <laughs> on the response, if, if you like it, don't forget to hit on like. On the like button button all right chris so all right so we are going to ask for those in a complicated relationship spirits and angels please show me important love messages for chris in a complicated relationship all right huh 
interesting. These cards are similar to the cards before for the single one, so I feel like this could be, again, if you're in a complicated relationship, yep, somebody is stuck because the world is in reverse. For some of you, somebody could be stuck because of a long distance relationship, okay? For some of you, if you're in a long distance relationship, I feel like that could be an issue or delay in both of you meeting each other, okay? However, if you're not in a long distance relationship, I do sense an energy of somebody is trying to like take baby steps, okay? Take baby steps towards um, perhaps giving this connection a second chance because Will Fortune can indicate a second chance. Four of Swords is right here. So somebody could be thinking and considering in regards of the future between the two for the both of you, okay? Whether it's you thinking or your person is thinking, again, roles can be switched. Someone it could also be thinking and changing direction. Somebody is thinking about ending this connection as well, two of cups here in reverse, but unsure what to do, okay? Because eight of cups is in reverse, someone is still feeling stuck and still can't get themselves to walk away from this connection. So we've got the Emperor here, it could be dealing with an Aries, can be any sign, I'm seeing a lot of fire here, or it could be somebody like you are, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. For some of you, if you're dealing with somebody who could be putting you in a third party situation, because Third Swords here can indicate that, I feel like it could be you or your person. Uh, someone is definitely spying on you or that you could be spying on somebody here, okay? Trying to see, someone is quite trying to see if the third party is there or trying to get some information in regards to the third party. And we've got the King of Swords here and also we've got the Six of Pentacles. Somebody also can be dem demanding somebody to cut somebody off, okay? Like, like somebody needs to make a choice here. And the Hierophant here is in reverse. This may indicate, for some of you, it could be dealing with somebody who is married or was married or still is, you know, tangled with somebody from their past. Or it could be you. Again, it could go vice versa. And also, we've got the Six of Pentacles here and the Chariot. Hmm. If you are entangled in a third-party situation, it's pretty saying that you actually can do better, okay, to be honest with the chariot here. If you move on from this person, you could actually do better. Um, because the chariot for me is a very successful card, but you need to move forward, move on from, from this connection first. Six of Pentacles can indicate somebody, you know, dealing with another person, still dealing with, uh, still feeding another person here. Just let's, let's see a little bit more. Could be dealing with somebody who could have been lying with the Knight of Swords here in reverse. Could be your energy or your person's energy, but somebody is thinking about walking away from this connection. And also we've got the star here. That's also an energy of somebody wanting to heal this connection, whether it's you or your person. And the devil is right here. This may indicate, again, third party situation, or somebody could have been putting you in a third party situation, or you could be putting somebody in a third party situation. Whatever the case is, it looks like your connection with this person may be very unhealthy or toxic in some way, shape or form, all right? Aquarius, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now. This is the playlist from my second vlog channel if you're interested to check it out. And also I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And Aquarius, I post your videos almost every single day. However, at different timing, if you'd like to be notified each and every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care Aquarius. Bye.